Research is absolutely fascinating. No two days are the same. Um, you get to really use your brain and delve deep into the questions, try and relate what, what we're doing in terms of measuring vision with the physiology and what's going on in the eye, which then feeds back into the therapies to help improve them because you can understand better what's going on. I love the hope that we're able to give to patients. A lot of the work I'm doing is with the patient population that has had no treatment options, no real help in the past. A lot of my patients tell me horror stories about they were given a diagnosis, told they were going to go blind by the age of 40, off you go, good luck, and that's it. Um, and now we can actually say, no, actually, there is something we can do for you. We can come back and, and, and try and help you. And that's just amazing to be able to do that. So just being able to work with them, give them hope uh, and try and understand what's going on, which we can then feed back into better therapies. And that's, that's one of the advantages of working here in Oxford because I'm working not only with clinicians, but also with people in the lab who are actually developing the therapies. So I get to see the whole process from start to finish, which is really exciting. Traditionally, a lot of ophthalmology research has been done by ophthalmologists. Whereas now, because we're working with conditions where our traditional tests just aren't good enough, they're just not able to pick up the changes we need to see we need to bring in optometry more and more into that to, sh to use our expertise in order to assess how the therapy is working. So it, when you're doing lab-based research, it's, it's easy because you sacrifice the cells, you open up the eye and you actually see what's happened in the cells. Obviously with human eyes, you can't do that. So that's why optometry is so important because the only way we can do that is through optometry assessments and ophthalmic imaging. Optometrists make good researchers because we're already following that process within our consultations. When a patient comes in, we take a history. We try and establish what the problem is. We do assessments. We put all the information together to come up with a solution and try and figure out what's going on. That's basically what research is. We come up with a, a problem, or we, we try and understand the problem, then we do a number of assessments, put those together in order to understand what's happening uh, at a deeper level um, and what we can do about it. There are intermittent jobs popping up in research, uh, and if it tickles your fancy at all, definitely get involved. The College of Optometrists also run a scheme which allows people to have a go at research in practice. Uh, so I encourage people to get involved with that, reach out to departments where they know research is happening. Don't be put off by it. I never thought I was intelligent enough to do a PhD, which is why I'm doing it later on in life. But in a way, I'm glad I've done it this way because the work I'm doing is more about developing my career and the patient pathway um, and is in a topic that I know I'm really interested in uh, but don't don't be scared by it have a go because it is fascinating and it's incredibly rewarding